Freddie, coming into this camp on the back of a pretty special result out in Perpignan, has something clicked at Gloucester over the past couple of weeks? Oh uh, Yeah, I think so. I think we're playing a, a brand of rugby that, that Gloucester are known for, you know, letting the ball go wide and, and getting like Sharples and, and Johnny May the ball in their hands and letting them do what they do. So it was nice to get the, the benefits on, on Sunday. You know, obviously, the week before we played Munster and we felt we created but just didn't take opportunities. And obviously, Sunday we, we took all all five opportunities so yeah a great win and, and a good bit of uh, confidence coming into camp. But is there a personal confidence boost as well to go with that? Yeah definitely obviously yeah uh, it's been a, it's been a tough season you know as a team and, and individually and you know, I just feel like I'm, I'm back to my back to my usual self in playing the rugby which I enjoy which is which is good and can only help me in the team really. Now you're here how are you how are you viewing this chance to to play for the Saxons this weekend? Yeah I, I'm really excited you know I've like I said I'm very realistic. I, I know where my form's been this year, and to have a couple of good games for Gloucester coming into it, it, it gives me a chance to have a great opportunity with a with a great squad to, to really push forward. So, you know, that's it. It's, it's an opportunity for me to, to show Stuart and the rest of the coaches that you know I'm, I'm back to where to where I have been, and, and that I'm I'm ready and, and waiting to get called back up into that squad. Stuart said publicly that he wants you to have some international game time ahead of the Six Nations. How did he relay that to to you? What was the conversation like? Exactly the same, just you know, get out there, have some game time and, and show us that you can manage a game and, and run a game at ten. So it's always hard because I've been in around the you know, the, the England squad for a couple of years now and you know, you never quite play as much as you'd you'd like to, uh, whether that's through injury or, or or selection. So you know, to play in this squad as well is, is, is gonna be great fun because there's a lot of uh, young, exciting talent in it. There's a lot of pace, but because it's the international arena, I guess you'll have to mix that with um, game management that you've been working with, you've been sort of building up this year. Um, is that what Stuart's, Stuart's relayed to? Yeah, you know, it's, I think Stuart obviously told me the selection, and and then once we're here, it's, it's down to, to JC and, and Joe and to, to sort of lay down the principle. And like I said, it's, it is about variation and and about you know when to go wide, when to go up the middle, when to kick, and you know, something that I can only sort of read when I'm out on the pitch. So. We'll see, but at the minute I look around at the team and I want to get some of those boys the, the ball in their hand and let them show them what they can do. Having missed last year's tournament, what would it mean to force your way back into Stuart's plans for the Six Nations? Yeah, it's everything. I think once you play for England, you just want to be there again and again. And you know, after the uh, the summer tour that, that I had as well with, with the squad going out there and, and getting two good wins, it was disappointing not to keep building on that. But you know, I'm, I want to get back in and you know, I haven't played in the Six Nations yet. And, yeah, it'd just be be great to get out there and, and get back at Twickenham in the in the white shirt. All things considered, speculation about your future and, and Gloucester's results is, is is it fair to say that this has been one of the difficult, most difficult few months of your career to date? Yeah, hundred percent. You know, I've I've had bad games here and there, but I've never had a sort of sustained dip in form, I guess. And I've learnt a lot about myself over the over the last few months, and you know, I can only come out of it stronger. And, and I'm glad it's happened now. You know, eighteen months before World Cup, rather than this time next year so you know it's all put to bed now with with me leaving Gloucester at the end of the year and you've got to learn from these experiences and make sure that they they make you a better player and a better person and I think that's exactly what's happened it's it's not been easy but you know you've you've, you've got to sort of just take it head on and, and take it on the chin and, and move on and, and learn from it which is what I'm trying to do. How much of a relief was it to have the news announced that you were leaving Gloucester? Yeah it was a it was a big relief you know it was a, a massive decision um, and you know a lot of the speculation sort of grew and grew, which probably didn't help myself or the club. But you know, that's the, the nature of it sometimes, and it's, it's how it's happened. And I am where I am, and that's it. Now I've got to give my all for Gloucester till the end of the year, and, and make sure that I play well here, and if I get the opportunity with the EPS, make sure I perform well there too. Obviously, we, we've said you won't be at Gloucester next season, but you've said how grateful you are to them as a club. How special would it be to run out at King's Home against what's going to be a fairly strong island side too? Yeah, it's, you know, Kingsham is one of the great places in, in the country to play. So um, to run out there in, in a white shirt of England with the rose on your chest is, is going to be great. And hopefully we'll get a good crowd. I'm sure we will. And yeah, hopefully we'll get a good result as well.